Have you ever seen a kid in a candy store? But have you ever seen a kid enter a candy store already on a caffeinated sugar high? That was me. A couple of weeks ago, I had mentioned that we're gonna have a video coming out about 500 feet ahead. And you're probably like, I have no idea what that is. Well, today I wanna tell you about that and share a little bit of that story. I had a friend give me a call and he asked if I would be willing to help out on this film project that they were working on in the Redwoods along Route 101. And I was like, yeah, count me in. I mean, this is the first time that I've ever had the opportunity to help out on like a, a real project, a real film project. And um, I was I was literally like a kid in the candy store. I mean, they're, they're shooting on red cameras and uh, uh, Ronin's, Inspires, um, Black Magic Cinema cameras. Uh, just, I had to like keep myself from drooling, <laughs> it felt like, not quite, but um, I was, I, I love that kind of stuff. I love video as a form of communication. And uh, so to be involved with that was quite phenomenal, pretty amazing for me. The, the film project is going through the Redwoods and Route 101, uh, Highway 101, which is kind of like Route 66. It's kind of like a, a throwback. And we had the chance to, to kind of interview people and show the story behind uh, some of these roadside attractions. And, um, the first one we got to check out was the chandelier tree. The chandelier tree is, is one of those trees that's been carved out um, so that you can drive a vehicle through it. And it was carved out like in the 30s, 1930 or something like that. And it's over 300 feet tall, a couple thousand years old. Um, just an amazing story uh, and hearing the, the people's hearts behind uh, this roadside attraction. The whole process was actually just amazing. I mean, whether we were uh, grabbing lunch, shooting B-roll footage, setting up for an interview, taking the interview, um, I was really just gleaning uh, as much information as I could off of the entire crew. Uh, you know, camera information, audio information. It was just uh, a huge learning experience for me and sometimes things like that are just so valuable. But we left the chandelier tree and uh, we went and we, we grabbed some lunch and uh, we went over to the One Tree House, which is uh, in a roadside attraction that was no longer open. I know for me, I was very encouraged to help out on a project like this uh, for, for several reasons. I mean, for one, getting to help and assist with all this equipment and uh, just, to, I, I kind of geek out on stuff like that. Um, to see the process of a film of this caliber being uh, put together and the thought process behind it. Uh, just being a part of that crew with an uh, amazing group of guys. Um, and also the fact of, I, I know that for the guys that are doing this film, 
and the ones that are the in it, editing it, producing it, it's it's a very much a, a passion project. It's a dream of theirs to make this film. And it's great to see these guys working on things that they've been dreaming about. And uh, this last year has been somewhat of a, a dream for us to be able to travel together as a family and to seize that opportunity. Maybe everything didn't work out exactly as we planned this last year. And I'm sure there was things as they were doing the filming process where they had to uh, adjust and uh, make things fit, but uh, they're they're doing it. Their dreams, they're they're capitalizing on the day. They're they're going after it, and I think that's important for me to remember. It's okay to dream. It's okay to to uh, aim high and shoot for these things. And um, I'm just really excited to see what this film project ends up being and what it ends up looking like. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know when it's. Uh, uh, produced and distributed and uh, um, can't can't wait to see the finished product. So um, I think that'll do it for today. We will uh, catch you guys next time. Uh -huh.